I had an amazing opportunity to meet our next speaker uh, this past summer at the European Forum Altbach. Uh, she hails from Syria, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about her background. Um, Noor Bakara has a background in arts and science, and she studied dance at the Higher Institute of Dramatic Arts in Damascus and graduated from the Faculty of Pharmacy at Damascus University. Uh, she combines science and art to understand society from different viewpoints and has worked in dance and theater, social work, and journalism. Her aim is to establish sustainability-focused educational programs um, to empower young people. And she was recently featured during Austria's International Day of Peace broadcast. So she has recently performed her work, Not a Fate, about peace building among youth in conflict situations at the Austrian Parliament and spoke at the European Forum Altbach this summer. Um, she was selected as part of a group of scientists and artists uh, to create the art science performance My Respectives at the International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis and was featured by the UNHCR on International Women's Day. Um, in her spare time, she volunteers running contemporary dance workshops for refugee children in Syria. So over to you, Noor. It's also challenging for me. Thank you so much. Good morning. I would like to thank you so much again, uh, Dr. Marcia, and for the RELAX group for this uh, great opportunity. And I would like to make a comment to the previous speech because it was so inspiring and, uh, the, in my opinion, the most challenging uh, mentality which we need to address during dealing with the SDGs is this question. As far as these effects, uh, as long as these effects are really far away from us today and here, so it doesn't really worth to, to think about it. And this is what we really need to address, and this is the most challenging mission, if we could say. So, the last time I came to Austria, I had with me one suitcase full of summer clothes. I was well prepared to participate in European Forum Alpach, a two-week political conference on the topic cooperation and conflict. I soon realized that it wouldn't be possible to return to the life I had known. I decided to stay in Austria. At first, it wasn't easy at all. But now, after one year, I can say that what saved my dreams and my mind wasn't the money in my bank account, and wasn't my family name, and wasn't my nationality. It was only my education the ability to communicate my ideas and to introduce myself to the new society. <clears throat> I was critical of our uh, education system back in Syria, having conducted extensive interviews with young people across the country. In support of a social research project, I learned how education contributes to shaping our opinions, building our uh, personalities and affecting each other sector of the society. It is an essential effect. I believe that the power of sharing ideas cannot be overestimated. So, in Austria, I started a project to involve people in politically controversial issues through theatrical method to learn deeply about different issues. In, the, in, the, in that regard, I wrote a theater piece called Not a Fate, this piece was based on the interviews I have done in Syria, and it crystallized them into specific characters experiencing stages of conflict and eventually awareness. I was honored to perform my theater piece at European Forum Albach 2018 in the presence of former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, former Austrian President Heinz Fischer, and other dignitaries. Later, we were honored as well to perform the theater piece during a special Austrian parliament event. A character in my theater piece says, and I do believe in this, poverty is not just hunger. It's the lack of means which support our basic needs, our ability to think and choose. 
Poverty means surviving alone, a lonely, weak individual. So when citizenship is absent, people return to their narrow affiliations. This realization led me to a series of questions. If we could imagine now the war in Syria hadn't yet started, how could this war have been avoided? Furthermore, how could we build sustained peace in our country? The emphasis here is, of course, on the word build, because peace cannot be imposed on societies. Achieving a sustained peace is the fulfillment of revolutions aimed at rooted changes. Isolating people from the real communication is one of most classic tools of repression. repression. Sorry. That's what we experience in the absence of a collective and free political atmosphere in Syria. We were deprived or, of understanding our shared problems, which forced us to become involved in fake conflicts based on assumed divisions. Changing the system needs both to address the mentalities and the realistic conditions, which affect the mentality and thus in a continuous circle. In other words, raising awareness and spreading knowledge in addition to the actual implementation of the sustainable de development goals on the ground. And all of this is tied to education. It is a challenging issue, but by following any problem to its roots, it, it will necessarily in intersect with other problems on a global level. In trying to realize the mechanism of our interrelated world, my eyes opened on a beautiful picture full of colors this, presenting the sustainable development goals. Well, if that was a very romantic, optimistic image, the challenges imposed themselves strongly. So for me, our aim to solve all our interconnected problems is actually to change our current system, transferring it from the surviving level for many people on our planet to a justice level where everyone contributes for the common good. Not as an idealistic dream, but rather as a necessary condition for our survival. And since I believe in education and aim for empowering people, I need and I dream about continuing my education and in international relations in order to expand my projects and represent unheard voices. There's a window of hope and it's our shared responsibility to keep it open and even to make it bigger. Thank you so much for listening.